we are going to go back over this chapter which we covered yesterday. Okay, so the notes are on the board. You've got a copy of them here. And as you can see, it's only one page. The only thing extra to this are the maths questions. So I'll finish up by going over the maths one. Right? It's basic stuff, but we use this as I said for the next six or eight weeks, we're going to be invoking the concepts of current, charge, and from that, the next chapter, which is potential difference. And the third concept is the third chapter. What's the third thing we said that goes with these two? Current, potential difference, and resistance. resistance. So to know what the current is, you have to know how hard it's being pushed, and you have to know what the resistance in the circuit is. So the three concepts go together. And we said rather than using the term voltage, we use the term what? Volts. Instead of voltage, if I were to say the voltage across two points is three volts, I shouldn't say the voltage. Amps. Nope. Potential difference. Potential difference. We haven't covered it yet, but it will actually be potential difference. <laughs> the reason I'm saying that is because the everyday language we use will get mixed up with the science and physics terms we use here, and it'll seem a little bit complicated. So if I say something like the electricity that we use up is something or other, that term electricity isn't actually a physics term. It isn't actually a science term. Electricity is like a catch-all phrase that talks about current, potential difference, and resistance. But there is no unit of electricity because it doesn't represent any one concept. So it's like an umbrella term for the different bits and pieces. We talk about current, we talk about the units of current. Resistance, the units of resistance. Potential difference, the units of potential difference. But electricity is just a general term. So even when you hear people saying things like the electricity got used up in the battery, it's not correct to say that. So you've got to break it down and say, in fact, it's not even correct to say that anything gets used up in a battery, but you certainly wouldn't say electricity, right? So electricity is a general term. We try not to use it here, but it's a general term to describe maybe all the chapters that we're covering at the moment, okay? So we start off by looking at current and charge. Three effects in electric current, and this overlaps quite a lot with what you've done in junior cert. Heating effect, how would you demonstrate the heating effect of an electric current? 